When you want to test a hypothesis, it's important to be able to know whether any change or result you see is actually related to your hypothesis or whether it's for some other reason. Researchers often use what is called a control group to help you compare results. An experimental group gets the intervention you want to test, but the control group does not. Other than that, the two groups are exactly the same. Let's think of an example. If you drink pomegranate juice, you can see better at night. The hypothesis is that drinking pomegranate juice will help you see better at night. To test this, we will take two groups of people and have one drink pomegranate juice and the other something else. We will then see which group can see better at night. If our hypothesis is correct, we would expect that that experimental group will see better than the control group. Mm -hmm. And sometimes researchers will even make the experiment blinded which means that the people in the study do not know who is in the control group and who is in the experimental group. For example, they might give the control group a drink flavored like pomegranate juice and the experimental group real juice. This will help make sure that it's really the pomegranate juice causing all of this change. An experimental group that uses a control group relies on both the treatment group and the control group being as similar as possible to rule out those variables that might affect the results. For example, with our pomegranate juice, we would want both groups to be similar in terms of their health status, ages, diets, and other characteristics. That's to rule out the possibility that an, ex an external variable changes the results. It could be that the pomegranate juice has a different effect on older people than on younger people or on people who regularly drink milk compared to those who do not. Or the results could be affected by a participant who drank water just before the experiment or one who stayed up all night before the experiment took place. For those reasons, a person who is designing an experiment that is using a control group needs to think carefully about how to make sure the treatment group and the control group are as similar as possible.